Hey, this is Vegeta, the Prince of All Saiyans, and this is SSJ Goshen 4. Her figures are over 9,000! Hey guys, this is S Goshen 4 here with a new video for you guys, and today I have a special interview with Rick Robertson, the voice of the Bora. Now, let's begin. Hello, Stephanie, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, and I'm happy to be interviewing you. And I'm happy to be interviewed, absolutely. <laughs> so today I got some questions from the fans, and just for you. All right. So let's start with what I, was. I like that you said fans plural. You know, oh like, yeah. Like there was more than one. Oh yeah. You know, so that's great. <laughs> I thought it was just you and me. <laughs> no, there's many of them. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your experience with Funimation? Oh well, I I, I think it's it's all described in the word. It, it was fun. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I would think so, right? <laughs> I mean, Funimation <laughs> is fun. It, it it was really funny because obviously my experience started a long time ago. Right. And you know I was trying to. Uh, do something that my sons, I thought, that, that I thought my sons would think was cool, and yeah. and uh, I think they do maybe now. <laughs> right. <laughs> they right. certainly didn't then. Oh really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they didn't then. As a matter of fact, my son ended up getting beat up at school because he said, "My dad's the voice of Deborah." What? <laughs> the kid no, goes, "Yeah." Really? The kid goes, "He is not." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was really Hilarious. great too because later on I, I got to go to like a homeroom, you know, and this kid comes up to me as, as little kids will, you know, and they said, uh, "You're not the voice of Deborah." Yes, I am the voice <laughs> of Deborah, and I thought he was going to wet his pants. It was really funny. You know? was like, oh, oh my, my gosh, that's a, that's a hilarious story. Oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> like, I can imagine that, like how that was in person. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> had to freak him out. <laughs> So here's another thing that's really funny that a fan sent me. So apparently in one episode of Dragon Ball Z, where Deborah was there, and in the credits it says it was uh, he was played by Laura Bailey. Mm -hmm. And it's just so random, and I have a picture of that to show you. Okay. All right. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Laura Bailey. You know, I got to say, <laughs> that's what makes Laura so talented, you know? <laughs> I probably had a cold that day or something. Right, and then she just took her spot. That <laughs> yeah, there. Laura just stepped in. She did such a spot-on like impression of you. She like. really does. <laughs> She's one of the best I've ever heard. <laughs> I love Laura. <laughs> She's awesome. I've met her I before. wish I sounded like Laura Bailey, actually. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's awesome. I have met her before. She's yeah, great. Yeah, she's amazing. She is. Um, okay, so do you think the Borough will ever make a comeback in Super? <laughs> Uh, for, for, from your mouth to God's ear, you know, <laughs> or, or I guess I should say from your mouth to Funimation's ear. You know right? What I mean? <laughs> that would yeah. be great to see. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah, no, I would love that. I think and Bora, I know there's a lot of fans that would really love that. Yeah, like the is awesome, and I love his design. And he's not, he's, he's not great. really dead. I don't care what people say. You know, he's, <laughs> um, he, he, he went to, for him, what would be the bad place, you know, which of course is heaven. Right, right, you know, right, exactly. Yeah. I mean, when you've been king of the demons, you know, you're kind of right at home in hell, so he didn't go there, you know, so <laughs> <Right>. he, anyway. <laughs> they sit in the only place he didn't want to go. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> that's torture for him. Like, it, it really is. And you can see it up there, you know. Just, yeah. <laughs> love, 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 you know. <laughs> yes. And, like, I really like Deborah. I, I think his design is really cool. Oh, me too. You know, me too. Really they did cool a great looking. job with Deborah. How do you get into character? Um... I don't know. Get up in the morning, brush my teeth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's really not that hard. Uh, I think for any impression, uh, you probably have like what I would call a cue tone. Mm -hmm. You know, like if I was going to do an impression, say, of former President Reagan or something, uh, my cue would be, well, you know, like that. <laughs> so he would, you know, then, then you get into that. Oh, right, Whereas right, like right. Bill Clinton would be. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. You know, I mean, you, you just you, you get into that, and I think for Deborah, it's probably always for me. But yes, Master Bobbity. Right. I mean, that's sort of the like thing that kind of gets me into character. He's so deep. His voice is. Mm -hmm. You can do, and you do it so well. As you wish, Master <laughs> Bobbity. Uh, okay, so how was it like getting the role of Yomi in Yu Yu Hakusho? Uh, <laughs> well, it's, actually, I don't know that I, I actually got the role, so to speak. I mean, I remember. Chris Sabat coming to me and saying, we have this role for you that we want you to do. 
Mm-hmm. So it really wasn't like so a big, just, big audition process. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was like, you know, we want you to play this. And I'm like, well, of course, you know, I would love to do that. Well, that's awesome. That's yeah. a great way to get a role. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> right? It's not what you know, it's who you know, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, Chris and I were actually talking about the fact that um, when we did it, he came to my studio, and we, we actually cut a lot of the dialogue for Yomi in the hallway of the studio. We were sitting there. I think the studio was occupied or something. Mm-hmm. And so we were in the hallway cutting things, you know, oh, and doing lines and stuff. It was great. Wow. I'd forgotten about it until Chris reminded me of that the other oh, day. Oh, really? Yeah. Actually, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's an interesting way, right? Yeah. Well, I, I'd never done it like that before, but it was great. Yeah. It was fun. Uh, what's your favorite line for Devorah? I guess there is a line, and I probably would mess it up if I tried to do it perfectly. Uh, the line before he's about to fight... Uh, Majin Buu, uh-huh. when he's talking to Bobbity and basically says, you know, he his way underestimated my powers. You know, it's like, <laughs> you know, like, no, no. No, that's a great one. <laughs> yeah, it's ironic. Yeah, I know, <laughs> yeah. I know, right? <laughs> right. What nerve! It is difficult to say why, but his revival has clearly been incomplete. I had great hopes for this Majin Buu, but this deformed version is nothing but an idiot and a waste. What other character in DBZ would you have wanted to voice if you could any other character? Oh, what character is Chris Sabat, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And like that's a that's many. Yeah, many I was characters. gonna say I would want to voice anything Chris did. You know, <laughs> just just looking at Chris and, and seeing him at the Comic Cons and, and Kamehameha Cons and stuff. You know. Yeah, it, right. That's that'd yeah. be awesome. <laughs> I'd be like, boy, I wish I was Chris. <laughs> <laughs> that's the perfect answer, I think. Actually, it really is. <laughs> Uh, what is the best fan memory that you have? Oh, gosh, there's so many. I know, I there is so many. I mean, just at this last Command Con was great because uh, one wife had surprised her husband, um, and uh, she had had given him a trip to Command Con for his 30th birthday, That's and cool. um, you know, <laughs> he he was great. He showed, he and his wife were great. You know. That's awesome. And yeah. uh, and there was this little kid that came up to me, and he was so sweet, and his name was Javier. And, <laughs> and so Javier comes up, and he, you can tell, you know, he didn't know what to say, and he was freaked out anyway. So I, I gave him the signature, and he literally, he was so happy, he ran around the corner like full blast, you know. <laughs> you know. That's adorable. And later on, he brought his friend and his dad. <laughs> <laughs> And see, like, I love meeting, like, little kids. Like, they're the cutest, and I love their reactions every oh, yeah. time. So. Yeah. But, I mean, almost every person you meet there is, is just a special person. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I, I feel like I'm lucky to have the greatest fans in the world because they are. Right. I mean, you know. Dragon they, Ball fans. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> What's it like voicing a character in one of the coolest anime ever? <laughs> uh, like what I just described, you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yeah, the perfect yeah, yeah, follow-up get, to that, Yeah, you right? get to meet the people. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a lot of fun, you know, it really is. Uh, I mean, you know, you and I talked a little bit about this earlier, right. and, and that is uh, when you're actually voicing it, if, if that's the question, uh, it's a little like rubbing your stomach and patting your head, <laughs> you know, because you're trying to, uh, you know, do your dialogue in character, but also match mouth flaps, you know, while, while you're talking. Right. And so it, it really requires a great deal of concentration. And then because the other part, as you and I talked about, is this, uh, you know, sounds like you're constipated sometimes, you know, because you're doing the, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like fighting That's sequences. So yeah, and it, it just comes out weird, you know. <laughs> yeah, to like an outsider looking in, like, right. they'd be like, what is that? Why, are they, why do they sound that way? Yeah, and I always wonder if somebody just walked by the studio, what they would think. Right. You know, and I'm like, what are they recording in there? Oh, my gosh. You know, is somebody being hurt? You know? <laughs> Yeah, my mom thinks that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so another fan said, Resurrection D. So hopefully, yeah, right? That'd be great. There you go, yeah. We, we want to see the Bora come back. Like I said, you know, he, he's not quite dead. You know, exactly. he ended up in a field singing show tunes. I can see it written all over your face, Fidel. So this is love, beautiful, lovely love. Ooh, now I've seen it with my own eyes. You know, basically, you know, right? like I said, and, and so, you know, he's not quite dead. And I think he could easily come back. He could. And again, yeah, Funimation, if you're listening, a lot of people would like to see that. Yeah, you know, we want to see the Bora. My father would say, you know, I don't want to tell you how to do your business, but... You know, <laughs> 
to wrap it all up, a last question is? No, no. Yes, I am, Gary. <laughs> he says, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm no longer single. That, no, you're right. I knew what you were going to ask. But, okay. Uh, okay. Um, he, th he thinks, uh, sorry, who he thinks should take over the Demon King since Deborah is a goodie now. I really rattled you with that last answer, <laughs> I think. You know it threw I mean? me off. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I have the perfect person to play the Demon King, and, and that's Elise Bowman, who plays Pan in Dragon Ball GT. Really? Yes. How? So? How? Well, I'm, I'm going to show you a clip, okay? And you can take a look at this and tell me if she's not the perfect person. <laughs> All right? I'm going to have to see that, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, you know, there have been times we got miscast. And, 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 and you know, it, it ended up like that. I, I can't imagine how that's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it happens. <laughs> I have had the great good fortune of being able to work on a regular basis with Elise Bowman, the voice of Pan on Dragon Ball GT. I think her voice is perfect for that character. And I like my voice for Deborah, but I won't lie to you. In the past, we've done some projects for which I thought we were both pretty badly miscast. Like, like in this classic. We live in a cynical world. A cynical world. And we work in a business of tough competitors. I love you. You? Complete me. And I just... Shut up. Shut up. You had me at hello. And it even happened again recently. That was great! Something fell through, so I was able to come back a few days early. I think I might have said some things. I don't know. Just how I acted. You hurt me. You really hurt me. And who can forget Dragon Ball Notebook Edition? Would you just stay with me? Stay with you? What for? Look at us, we're already well, fighting. Well, that's what we do. We fight. And now I have something to actually show you that I brought. Oh, awesome. I don't know if you've ever seen this before, but <gasps> look at this, the more up here. How cool. <laughs> oh my God, how great. That's awesome, right? <laughs> like twins, right? <laughs> <laughs> they look they look pretty similar, I think. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> what I like about Debura is 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 the joy. See? You know? If you're gonna do evil, you better be happy about it. Right? You Have know? a big smile just like that. That's right. <laughs> you know. And you could almost see him spitting on somebody and turning him to stone, you know? Yeah. No, this is I love this I, I love it too. This is great. Have this you ever seen awesome. it before? I have not. I've never seen it before. I accomplished yeah. something right <laughs> you, here. You truly did. <laughs> you truly did. This All right. Thank you so, thank so you. much for this interview. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it, Goshen Force. And until my next video, peace out and keep breaking limits. Hey, it's Pan from Dragon Ball GT. And you're watching my good friend, SSJ Goshen 4. Yeah! <laughs>